Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Ape Nation, your number one source for all things Planet of the Apes on YouTube. My name is Josh, and once again, we are doing a reaction video to a Planet of the Apes movie, this time being War for the Planet of the Apes. We previously did Rise and Dawn, which you can check out on this channel. I, of course, have seen this movie many times, but my friends here, Travis and Cal, have not. They only just recently watched Rise and Dawn for the first time. Travis, you loved Dawn. You loved Rise. What are your expectations and hopes for going into this movie? I like to start off by saying the obvious. Yeah. Uh, why are you wearing a blanket? I'm cold. This basement is like a, a freezer. So I'm going to be cozy for the remainder of this viewing. Now, as far as this film is going to go, I have no expectation because I don't know what they're going to do. I was very pleased with the previous film. I was very surprised, and therefore, I want to be surprised again. I want to like this more than the one before it, because that's how you want these to go, but I don't know what's going to beat that second film, so I'm hopeful. Cal? I mean, we talked about it at the end of the last film. Obviously, it's going to be a war movie, but how are they going to play off that war? You know, is it going to be action? Is it going to be more drama, psychological? I'm excited either way, and as Travis said, each of these movies has been a surprise. They've all been kind of different, so you can only guess so much, and I'm excited either way to see how they pull this off, what direction they go with it. With all of that said, we are now going to dive into War for the Planet of the Apes. Here we go. That's neat. They do the theme of the tribal music style. Yeah, I like they changed it to make it a little more AP. AP? I don't know. Oh, I really thought it was going to pick up right after where the last one left off. Interesting. Okay, this is a twist. Definitely evolved even more than the last one. Yeah, I... Really wasn't expecting that the monkeys on the side of the humans. He'll explain it in a few minutes what's going on there, but yeah, it's wild. I also think the music in this one is the best of the three. Where are you, soldier? I need your position. Recognize that voice? Woody Harrelson. Every single time they introduce him, they find a way to make it even more epic. It's really neat how we've seen him grow from an actual baby into... What he is now. Yeah, not just a leader, but now a warlord. You're him. You're Caesar. He's got white around his face now. He's getting old. Mm -hmm. War ages you a little bit. Do not start this war. The ape who did is dead. They follow Koba. Oh, that's who they were? Tell your colonel, you have seen me now. And I have a message for him. Leave us the woods and the killing can't stop. I love that he's, even through it all, he has mercy for others. Yeah. He's just a good leader. I kind of had a feeling he was going to escape when he took him out of there. I don't know why. Music was really good there. That piano theme is my favorite piece of music in this whole series. It's just so crazy when you think back to the first one where it started, to how it's all of this. Yeah, so much has been developed. Yeah, it still blows my mind about just how much evolves from one through three. And yet it feels natural. The pacing was perfect. Everything feels earned. Yeah. I was oddly thinking the same thing when he was a moment ago sitting on there talking about Koba. I was just like seeing how old and withered he is. And I started thinking back to the first one, how he was a baby, like drinking milk from the bottle. I was like, Jesus, like, I mean, it's such, such a long gap that we have. You guys know there's only one albino gorilla ever reported in the world? Did not know that, no. I thought they were more common when I first saw this, but apparently it's like this just one that was found. I mean, isn't like albino is like always like a rare thing in any creatures? Yeah, but I thought there'd be maybe like still a handful. Apes. Together. Strong. I also love that he's evolved his ability to speak. I was about yeah. to say that. He can do full sentences now, and it's earned. Like, it's not out of nowhere. Right. Oh, that's not good. There's more music that's very evocative of the original movie. Yeah, I was noticing that. Oh no.
And there he is. Oh, he thinks he killed him. Oh, that's not good. Nope. Now we're getting more of the Caesar you were expecting. Yeah, I mean, just killed his family. I'm pretty sure that's a snapping point. It used to bother me a little that they get killed off screen. The more I've watched this, I like it. This movie is more about war than a war movie. Not everyone gets like a big death. It just happens. Right, right. Yeah, I really appreciate that they did that. Yeah, I didn't have any problem with it. Cornelius. You get to see him go from being the son to the father throughout the course of these movies. Yeah. And being kind of switch roles with James Franco. Not them. Him. <laughs> this one definitely has the best music. I've noticed oh, yeah. it in a couple of spots. I'm like, yeah, this is working me. This is already like, what, a half hour, maybe 40 minutes in, and it's so tragic already. It gets worse. <sighs> I'm ready. My chest feels tight. Like, and I'm like, just like, wow, this is like so bad. Also, I will say graphics got even better. All the raining on, the wet hair looks so good. There are a few shots that come up later where I'm so convinced that they like got someone into a costume for a couple close-up shots for a couple yeah. of them. Like, it's like, the so, textures are just so, like, so there's just no real. Yeah. Yo, is that my boy Maurice? Yep. Oh my Maurice god. He's never gonna leave Caesar. Look at this crew. Calvin, you understand, when you have an assassin team like this, you gotta have the wise man. That's a friend right there. Mm -hmm. Dude. That's another thing I really love about this movie, is we finally get the trio. The OG group. Yeah, the people together. that were like, yeah, there at the Maurice beginning. Maurice gets to be alongside him for the journey this time. Coca-Cola, brand deal. Said not to be very good. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. I wasn't that. I saw that. I actually have never noticed that before. I'm just going to put this down. Yep. He's not hesitating anymore. Mercy's declining by the day. In the other films, he wanted to trust people and have that hope in him, but obviously now that's like almost just like, feels like it's gone or it's withering very fast. Yeah, I won't say too much, but that's a lot of this movie deals with Caesar's morality, how far he's willing to go. That looks like, real. That's insane. Wild. Incredible. It's almost like, it's, like, I want to believe it's like animatronic or something, because it's got to be really there. I like how he still has the notch in his cheek plate. Maurice is such a great character. He, I, I know. To me, this is his best movie. I love him. Why is she bleeding from the nose? You'll see later. Okay. I saw that when she came out of the shadows and went, there's a reason they did that. I just don't know what it is. Is that the monkey from Rampage with uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Yes, I do it. Isn't he like a million feet tall though? He turns into a million feet tall. Oh, he shouldn't have said that. Oh, he's dead? Choked him out, dude. I thought he was just holding his breath so he couldn't make noise. You know, he's struggling to breathe, too. You know, it makes you realize how much he's actually been through over the last decade plus. Also, another thing I love about these movies is that each one adds new environments. I love the snowy look in this one. I was about to say that most of the other ones, it went from obviously coming out of the city into the woods, and then there was just kind of more jungle, and now we have beautiful landscapes like the beaches at sunset, and then the mountains with the, the snow. How are none of them cold? I know they got fur, but I imagine they being, oh, he's probably put on another layer. They're apes. They can adapt the way we can't. <laughs> I'm dead. Look at me. I'm dead already. You wouldn't survive out there. I've gone camping on mountains. I love how this movie's mostly just focusing on a small core crew. Because the last ones, it's not really a complaint, but they had a very large amount of characters going on. And this one just focuses on a small group. We get Nobody to see knows. more characterization there. It's kind of like what you said, Cal. I'm getting the Saving Private Ryan vibe. By right? Just the one squad moving through everything, experiencing the world as it comes at them. Holy sh <laughs> Oh, is it like they're receding while they're getting more intelligent? You'll see. Oh, here we go. New character I'm excited for both of you to meet. Realistically, do you think a horse can carry a gorilla and a chimp on its back? No. Absolutely not. 
I mean, I don't even know if a horse could carry. I've ridden a horse before, and it was fine. I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear something sad? When I was at work the other day, we had an ice cream social, and we were all hanging about talking, and there was a coworker that was talking to us. She was like, oh, you guys got the sugar-free stuff? And they were like, yeah. I was like, oh, give me that. I'm on a diet right now. I'm trying to lose weight because uh, there's a weight limit for skydiving and I have to, I, I'm almost at my goal. And I went, there's a weight limit for skydiving? <laughs> they were like, yeah, it's like, you can't be past like 200, like 40 pounds and stuff. I went, I guess I'll never go skydiving. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Travis. I will never go skydiving either. I would never. Is this frozen? And no, not, not at all. This is much better than frozen. I mean, it had to be a monkey, right? I don't know. I think it was a monk. It was an ape. Well, you'll find out within the next two minutes. Oh, that he has a shotgun. Beautiful. Bad I ape. Sweet oh God. <laughs> he is one of, if not my favorite part of the entire movie. Maybe not the favorite, but he's he's definitely up there. I see, girl. I think you human. Do you recognize the voice? I know who it is. I can't. I don't know his name. Steve though. Zahn. Steve Zahn. Oh, a zoo! Hairless monkeys are at zoos? That's Hell. not the message. Apes from zoo. Dead. All dead. Oh, wow. No touch. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> that's mine. <laughs> New friends. Special day. Aw. Border. Everyone dead, I, ca I come here. Very safe here. Never go back. No. Please, you must take us. No, 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 no. I love that he's not, he's tragic comedic relief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not Jar Jar Binks. He's a real character. That is a homage to the original movie. What? You've seen it, right? The original? Yes. The main girl with Charlton Heston. Her name is Nova. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's been a minute. I forgot all their names. I... Child. Poor guy. <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> He's got boots on, little, little boots. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. I really like this movie. So far, this is my favorite. I love the style of it, of the pacing, I love the snow. I really enjoy this one. Each one is very different from the last yes. one. And this one, I think, specifically is, especially compared to what you think it's going to be going into it, it's not at all the type of story you would have, I think, at least I didn't predict going into it when it came out. Oh, she's learning. <laughs> oh, no. No. I told you, it gets sadder and darker. They're going to keep moving forward as they do. They lose one person at a time, Calvin. I think she does a really good job in this. For an actor who's 10, 11 years old. Yeah. Never seen her again in anything else since then. This is one of those scenes where I see what you're saying about, like, how is that not real? Like, look, look at the detail. That looks like a photo that was taken of a gorilla. It's all so good. It was a mistake bringing you up. This is my fight. Again, that music, perfect ambience right here. The music does a lot of the, the lifting for the emotion in this movie, I think. That is messed up. This movie could be rated R. Yeah, it's really dark. Like some of the imagery they have is just beyond intense. You're probably not much of a reader. He plays a lot of bad military this, guys. He's really good at it. He is really good at it. Good job. Oh, shit. they got his kid in here. They got all of his apes oh in there. Oh, my God. He can't say anything to his son. Yeah. This is dark. The world is closing in around him right now. This is one of the bleakest, like, 
summer blockbusters I've ever seen. That's why Bad Ape has to be in there, because without him, this is just... Right. I feel that. And even then, he's tragic. I'm a little confused. How did they catch all of them? When they were making their way to their new home, they got ambushed and captured. Yeah. How did they do that? Bags. Bags? They just throw bags and they run it on. They have their methods, Calvin. Man, that guy should be a metal vocalist. It's pretty strong. Huh? Yeah. Nothing's more badass than walking out while straight razor blade in your skull. They're bad guys, technically, but it's also, like, sad that they are reduced to this just so they can survive. Not even 8 a.m. He's trying to keep the warmth, you know? He's out there shirtless, for God's sake. This gives off concentration camp vibes. Like, yeah, I was thinking that's exactly what it is, yeah. Leave him! Very much some Moses-esque. Yeah. I was going to say, for some of the shots that, uh, that we've seen so far in this film, like when he was revealed, when he was walking through the crowd of his people, it's like he's like the Messiah to them. Matt Reeves took a lot of inspiration from biblical epics for I, seeing this movie. I really do get that sense a lot here. Now, this isn't going to end well. I already know it. Gee, what gives you that idea, Cal? It's a concentration camp. It's just hard to watch at times. Yeah. You start to tell he's not necessarily wanting to be doing this who donkey yeah i was gonna say woody harrelson seems like he's very no, he, much on board. he very much yeah. wants to be doing this Food and water. does not mess around you just almost get the feeling that at this point he just would rather take deaths yeah I think the, the, this group, they're going to be the saviors. Calvin Maurice is going to save the day. I promise you. I can't promise you. I don't know why I said that. I could promise you that. I'm not going to, but I could. I really hope Maurice doesn't die. <laughs> we like him too much. I know. They've made us like him too much. Oh. Yeah, I just <laughs> got that. <laughs> oh, no. They perfectly use him. Yeah, it's not too much. He's not just comic relief. He, I love him so much. Honestly, I like that. I like him too, the donkey character. I feel like he might make a heel face turn. This right here is one of my favorite scenes in probably the whole trilogy. Really understand how crazy this guy is. Did you guys see the ape skull that was on the table? That word I there? just noticed that. I've never seen that before. Were you going to show me mercy? I showed you mercy when I spared your men. I offered you peace and you killed my family. My own son was a soldier with one of the units. One day he suddenly stopped speaking. He became primitive, like an animal. They contact Lucrens? That the virus that almost wiped us out, the virus that every human survivor still carries, had suddenly changed. I think that's such a smart way to evolve it to the original, what Planet of the Apes was with non-talking humans. I pulled the trigger. It purified me. That is dark. It will be a planet of apes. He said the thing. He said the tiny. I'm glad I did. That was such a good scene. I was gonna say. I didn't want to say anything, because, like, that was such a good scene. That is one of my favorite moments in the entire trilogy. The acting from both of them. I love how he's insane, but he's making some interesting points. From a certain perspective, you could understand it. I don't like him as much as Koba, but he's, a, I think, a really good villain. No! No! No crime! No. Oh. Apocalypse now. I don't know if you've noticed, but there's been, like, a ton of those eight war movie puns throughout this. I really love the way they use Koba in this. Yeah. The little visions. For uh, an army base has all the security, a little girl just walks right in and nobody notices. Yeah, that's a common critique. Music is at an all-time high here. Uh, it's a great moment. This whole movie is just filled with them. This is my favorite movie, man. This one's so good. Yeah, this is your favorite of the three? Yeah. I love how quiet so much of the movie is. <laughs> Told you, it's dark. I know. I don't know if that was the play. To get their attention off the girl, I don't know if that was the play. Like, maybe just, like, throw something. He's alive. 
Do they have the chance to him every morning while he's shirtless shaving his head? Yes, he does. Yeah, okay. Not crazy at all. Once well, you have somebody that's in some f- form of power and they start talking like religiously, like like uh, some holy purpose or some bull. Probably what would happen if apocalypse would happen. Yeah, people absolutely. Wa- oh, yeah, people are leaders like to get this, power. Leaders like this would emerge all over the place. That is a hired Caesar right there. Yeah. Oh no, the doll. What is this? How did this get in there? This is the first time I felt hope in the last two hours. Right. Is there anything left of you to say? Hit him where it hurts. Yeah, that was a great line. The military guy, there's something going on with him. I know he's going to change sides or something. Caesar planted the seed with him right at the beginning when they showed showed him mercy. He's seeing more human nature in the apes than the humans. Yeah. She's Nova. Is that what that is? Like she's supposed to be the girl? No, it's it's just an homage. Oh, okay. I thought it was like their way of like kind of connecting to it. Yeah. Who plays Maurice? You wouldn't know her, but uh, Karen Knoble. Great job. Here's the meme. Yeah, I've seen this. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's so good. He's like, when you get up there, just blend in. It's like, do you guys see the monkey with the vest on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. It's kind of creepy. Just look natural. Kind of looks like Smeagol. A little bit, yeah. I think it looks like Dobby. Yeah, you're Actually, right. Yeah. And he's got those sad eyes. It's pink and bald. Big old scrotum, you know? All right. Oh. Oh, it's Steven, too. The rocket finally getting his time to shine. Very smart. You throw poop at a guy, he's going to lose all, not, like, all common sense, you know? Yeah. You can still see the whipping scars yeah, on his mouth. I, I noticed that. I... I love you so much. Oh, I, th- I got so sad. I thought one fell. Thought they right. fell. <laughs> oh, my God. I just want them to get the kids out. I know something's going to happen because it's yeah. a movie. Please just let them get all the kids out at least. I like how Bad Abe even has his own little arc. Like, he starts out as just kind of not wanting anything to do with this and scared, and now he's helping lead the way. I am... my cover. Oh, they finally showed up, huh? Oh, they've got helicopters. A wall doesn't matter. To be fair, they did just take one of the helicopters out. Yeah, they probably thought that because they had those rockets and everything, they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll be fine. He abandoned ship. Did he pull a uh, Hitler? You know. You'll see what happens. How is he the only one who's noticed? Because they're all under attack. They're, they're worried about the gunfighting, I guess. Either he's the only one who noticed, or the only one who cares. Right. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, good plan. Escape. Get as far away as you can. They'll kill each other. They will go to the last man. Like I said, humans are their own downfall. Oh, is he suffering from it now, too, because of the blood on the table? Oh, that's he's a good call, he's got, Travis. He's got the one disease he hates. Him. Oh. There's your answer. Shouldn't have touched the doll. Damn. I love that Caesar's like, I'm not going to do this for you. Like, I'm not going to give you what you want. He did go out like Hitler. You're right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alone in his bunker. After going crazy. Yep. Come on, donkey, now's your chance. I thought he was going to grab the doll. How did he grab the doll for? Because it's the kids. She can find a new one. Come on, dude. God damn it, donkey! Give me the launcher! He's going to shoot the gas tank, hopefully. I can't believe he never switched yeah, sides. Yeah, I was gonna say, I thought he, there was gonna be something with him. Uh, 
That'll do it. T's done. Oh, that, that was, was pretty hard. cool. That was a nice little slide right out of there. What are they doing? I don't know, but just, yeah. They got everyone at the base. Caesar, I wouldn't be standing up with them. Like yeah. That. Neat. Avalanche. It's one way to get out of that. I love that through all of this, he has never lost his jacket. Or his boots. Look at those legs. Oh, no. Oh, no. He is cruising. Even with an arrow lodged in him. That adrenaline kicks in for survival, you know? That tree better hold on, I swear. God. Hold on to that thing for dear life. It's like nothing was ever there. You know, right? Completely wiped out. All of them. Maurice made it, Cal. Movie's not over yet, Cal. Hold on, there might be a twist. Can never be too sure. You know, when watching the first movie and you first get introduced to Rocket, never would have guessed that he would become a main character ally to Caesar. I love that. From bully to best friend. This was the best one, dude. This was the best one. Now this looks more like the setting for the original yep, movies. Yep. I guess Caesar's fine. All scrapes and bruises, but nothing you can't shake off. Well, like an arrowhead. It's on the side. He's still holding it. Yeah, I'm worried. I kind of like whatever symbolism is there for the fact that when things were going really south, it was just colder and like hard elemental conditions. And then now that there's like hopefully a victory here. I hope so, man. They deserve it. They deserve a break and happiness. can't believe that's how they end it wow that is sad it well it's bittersweet caesar really did everything for him you guys look like you need a minute <laughs> you okay that's so sad right here. this whole movie was like so heavy and, and, and like every minute it started off so rough just just violence death it just doesn't stop and that's like part of the thing it's this lens on war and like what's sacrificed at the cost of that and how it just never ceases to stop taking and taking and you sit here and literally you see all this horrible stuff and it gets worse and worse you get to a point where you're like stop does it ever get better and you like right. it like it's such a it's a heavy watch it's a really, really heavy watch. So we just finished War for the Planet of the Apes, the third movie in the Caesar trilogy. This is my personal favorite of the three. I love this movie so much. I have next to no issues with it. I think it's almost perfect to me. It's the only one of these modern movies that I think rivals the original, which is still my favorite. But the visuals, the music, Andy Serkis, Woody Harrelson, uh, the characters... The storytelling, the the depth, the heaviness, the darkness, Bad Ape, just so many things I love about this movie. If you want my full thoughts, as usual, you can check out my review that's on the channel. I love this movie in every possible way. It's my favorite of the bunch. I don't know if they're ever going to be able to top this one with any of the new ones going forward. I love this movie so much, and I'm, I'm I, it seems like you guys both loved it as well, and I want to uh, get your further thoughts. So, Cal, what did you think of War for the Planet of the Apes? Definitely my favorite as well. I loved the mood of it. It's so somber. I mean, all of them have been, but this one, just in a different way. I don't even know how to explain it, but it, it's very dark and somber, but there are also, you know, moments of hope, and I want to say the word humanity, but that doesn't even sound like it would fit for this, because, you know... But it's kind of about humanity. Yeah, you know, like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It had the most focus on atmosphere and mood, and the music elevated that. The music to this one was definitely my favorite and the most noticeable. I mean, the sad moments had really great piano pieces, and the more menacing moments had this great ambience to it. All the characters were fleshed out as much as I wanted them to be. The addition of the human girl character I thought was really good. You know, sometimes a movie will add in like a child character and it doesn't work. This one, it worked great. I think the fact that she couldn't speak made it better. Like if she could talk, that could have been a problem. It could have taken away from it. But the fact that she couldn't 
It just was perfect. She was perfect. Maurice, my favorite character, got plenty of moments to shine here. Just solidified that that's my favorite I character. Mean, Maurice not only survived, but also it seems like Caesar passed the torch to him. So he's able to go on and lead. Yeah. I think the ending was really well. I mean, Caesar passing was like really sad, mm -hmm. but it's an earned sacrifice. It's the end of the series. And I mean, it goes to show how much he sacrificed and how hard he worked to get everyone where they needed to be. I mean, he definitely, he even admitted it how he was kind of falling to revenge how he was like Koba but he never lost track of the fact that he wanted his 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 troop his family to be happy to be safe and in the end when he didn't kill the colonel I don't know yet what exactly that meant i think that was him coming back to who he was that's what i thought yeah. i just i like everything about it i love the snow snowy landscape great great movie definitely my favorite the second one was like really really fun and it was like a great like kind of like adventure and i uh, like yeah you know, i loved everything this is like it's great but in and i'm very like again a different way yeah it's 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 great and like uh let's let's i want to throw a harsh reality into your face and i need you to face some things like sort of vibe it's like amazing because of the fact that like it even man it's like he's so just flustered he can't come up with what no, else it's to like say. it's not even like oh it like had to build up and like earn that it's like it did it immediately it was immediate the second the the, the story started like and it's just why i can't th i'm trying to like think of like uh, like just going through the movie like from start to finish in my head like spark notes and i'm just like it's just it it kicked off and it it got you there like in it immediately and then you just you just you went along for this ride it was hard every step of the way every scene gets it has its own rise and then a crash there was a, so many times i ha I, I didn't realize i was holding my breath yeah and then, there was so much suspense yeah and then and then the second a scene would finally settle it was just <sighs> like it, it just again just how could it get worse? Like, oh my God. Oh my God. It's relentless. This is the most I've ever seen the character of Caesar really be pushed. I know in the other ones, there was the whole thing about him, like, and how he wants to lead and his morality that he wants to work with. But this one was just like, this is going to be the biggest test. 99% of the world and environment around you wants you to break. Are you going to hold on to that 1%? It was so rough to watch. Like, wow. Andy Circus, like, again, killing it. I love that they decided because he's further along, he's able to speak a little bit more. He got time to verbalize. I got to get a little bit more from him, but it works here because, like, I just feel like there's there's things that need to be said a little bit. So, like, I'm glad I was getting that from him, but I still love that there was just enough of, like, the signing and the facial expression. Just how he's taking in the world. Again, does that have to say anything? Those eyes, it cuts to him, and you can see the red, and they're weeping with pain. He's trying to, like, hold it in because, again, he's holding on to that 1%. Like, you almost want to burst at the seams for him. It's so brutal. It's punishing. It's punishing. Exact. That's what it, it's punishing. The Colonel was my favorite villain of the trilogy. Really? Yeah. Really? I mean, I loved Koba. Koba yeah, Koba's my favorite. The Colonel was different. He's a different kind of villain. His scene where he basically, I mean, it's essentially an info dump. Yeah, it's an, dump, yeah, it's an expedition it's dump. But it's done very well. And the speech is very well written and Woody Harrelson delivers it very well. It tells you everything you need to know about the character and how he fits in there. It doesn't justify the character or anything, but it helps you understand him a bit. Any other final thoughts from the two of you on War for the Planet of the Apes? Is it your favorite of the three? I think he's a little too hurt. Yeah, I think he's just like kind it's of weird loss. because, like, I mean, the, I like it's, the it's second. Not the, it's not the most fun. I, I mean, I think I have to say I think this one's my favorite because it's leaving me speechless. But like, it, like, it hurts to watch. Like, if you gave me the option, do you want to watch the second or third one? To be like, I don't want to feel depressed today. <laughs> you know, so yeah, it's like it's this weird thing. They all have their own merit. Clearly, you like them for a specific reason. I love how they're all so different. Yeah, most of these yeah. franchises, when they go and they start kicking them back up again, it's so easy for them to fall into a money grab like cash grab thing and they're just this copy and paste and and you can tell there's no there's no backbone there there's no there's there's no character to it at all these are like every single one is like is very distinct to itself and it's great all three of the, these chapters really 
Yeah. It's just like very drastically different. Like it makes you feel like you're rewarded a little bit with Caesar at the end because you've seen him live a life and have yep. to deal with all the trials and tribulations that come with it. It wasn't just like the one thing of just like, oh, war's hard. I'm just trying to save my people. Like it, there's just all of this stuff. And he gets that moment, at least before he dies, he gets that last moment. He, he did it. He gets to see his son, the last of his bloodline, like playing and having fun and the warmth, you know, a new day and everything. I'm just like, oh, that's so good. I feel so bad. Because, like, he finally goes and he dies, and as it starts to pan up to the sky, you see everything see them start notice. to realize. Yeah. And I'm sitting here going, like, his son. I know. He, his son just got out of the worst, and he's having fun. He's looking over his shoulder right now going, like, my dad is dead right now. My The rest of my family is gone. It's so rough. Even though there is a happy ending, but it's, like, a happy ending at, like, what cost? You get a happy ending, but it's, like, it's what you make out of a horrible situation. Man, it's it's something. It's a good movie, though. I was impressed. Yeah, as you know, there is another movie that is out that just came out this year, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. It takes place, like I said, hundreds of years in the future. It starts with a new character, a new story, but still set in the same universe. What are your expectations going into the next one? I am worried that it's at the point where this new one, I'm afraid, is like, oh, those ones did pretty well. Okay, let's try to get a cash grab. And I feel I feel like that one might be that. I, I, and the reason why I'm doubtful of that is because of the fact that now that since this is like its own story, I like I just don't know what to expect because it's not like the Caesar arc anymore. I'm just wondering, definitely after this third attempt, you know, going on a fourth, what else could they possibly do? And I'm just worried that, like, okay, 200 years in the future, now it's just a Planet of the Apes movie, so it's just going to be a classic blockbuster, and I don't know if there's anything that's going to be, like, stand out and, like, oh my god about it. So, that's my worry. I don't really know what to expect, but I have just a fear and a, that it's not going to perform as well as these, because these were really built to do their own thing, and I just, I don't know what that one's trying to kick off. I'm curious... I would love to be surprised because I've been surprised every single time so far. So I'm hopeful, but um, I'm not sure. I really don't know what to expect. A couple hundred years in the future, they could go many different directions. They could go more of a sci-fi direction, or they could almost go reversal, like reversing Earth to primitive era. I don't know what they could do with that. I don't know what kind of story they want to tell. My only hope is that it's a good movie. I'm excited to see whatever direction they take it in, as long as it's a good movie. I'm all for it. I really like the next one. It's either right on par with or just above Rise for me. I don't like it as much as Dawn and War. But I think it's a really good movie that set, it sets off, I think, a good news story. But I'm hopeful that you guys really like it. We will find out if they like it when we come back to do the reaction for Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes because this was our reaction for War for the Planet of the Apes. Hope you all enjoyed it. Again, we'll be back for one more of these. But until then, thank you so much for checking out today's video here on Ape Nation. If you liked this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so that you can stay up to date on all things apes. I'll see you in the next one. So until then. Goodbye.